And today we're going to take James Blake and we're going to chop up one of his songs. The name of the song is called I Mind. And we're going to start, we're going to use Recycle and we're going to use Reason to actually make the song. All right. Um, the track, let's play the track first so y'all can hear what I'm about to jack. This part right here coming up is what we're going to use. Right there. Okay, so that's our sample. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to recycle. I've already got it open here, and we're gonna load up the part that we took. There we go. Okay, now we're in recycle. But what I had to do first was go into GarageBand and edit the sample there. You know, just take the short part that I wanted in the beginning. Once I got that, I saved it, I uh, exported it to disk as a AIFF file or a WAV file, whatever you whatever you want. Um, Recycle reads both of them. And then I opened up the file using Recycle. So this is where we are now. This is the segments that I have taken. Um, notice there are some markers right here. These are known as slices. Now to set the slices up, you can use the pencil tool and you can click them in, put them wherever you want. Or, we're going to undo all of these. You can use the sensitivity tool. All this does is set points at certain peaks in the audio. Alright, so to do that we'll click back on a cursor tool and notice it's at 58 right now um, we can slide it up and the more you increase it you'll slowly start to see other slice points appear um, but we don't want that I only want to use three um, so the next step is to make your beat and even though we're not using reason yet you make your beat in your head you know what I'm saying so all you newbies this is how you do it. Um, these are the slice points that I selected. All right, so those are the three. Now you just go to work. So this gives me some ideas of what I can possibly do once I get into reason. All right. Um, you know, the next thing to do is to save your file. But before you do that, um, you have to actually fill out bars. It defaults to zero. Um, I just switch it to four. It really doesn't matter. You can put in whatever you want to put in unless you know the specific bars. I don't know it in this case, so I just need to put something in there so I can save the file. Um, so we're going to file save. I'm not going to actually save it because then it'll mess me up. But y'all get the point of that. So now that's done. We're going to quit recycle. And then we're going to go into reason. So now we're in reason. And um, you got the Dr. Rex loop player already loaded up with our sample that we just loaded. Um, 
This is how you load a sample, just in case. Find out where to find out where it is. We already there. Bingo. All right. So this is the sample. And I'm playing it using a MIDI keyboard. Okay, so I got my tempo already set at 91. And I have to pitch this thing up to make it sound the way I want it to sound. Um, let's start our beat. Just a real simple beat for this demonstration. DJ from this style. This is live. Y'all get the point? So that's how you do it, man. It's really not that hard. If you know how to use all these software programs, you know, um, that's what it is. So you got all these other tricks and tools you can do afterwards. But uh, I'm going to save that for the next tutorial. And uh, we're going to keep it moving. All right? Peace.